everyone so you heard it correct today we are going to talk about accepting rejections and preparing for rejections and this is pertaining to grant application rejection so recently we applied for a grant which was for three years so already we have the funding for my project but this was a additional part that we wanted to add and then we wanted to apply for this funding so my supervisor she mainly wrote this grant and i just gave my feedback and helped her a little bit with the grant um, application and we submitted this grant but unfortunately it got rejected there's another grant that i wrote and that still has its results awaited so let's uh, say fingers crossed but uh, whatever it is i today in this video i just want to talk to you about how do you prepare for rejection so um with grant writing it is really important to bear in mind that the acceptance rate is very low it is almost 20 percent so you're not alone if your grant is getting uh, grant application is getting rejected then just feel that um, i mean you just have to tell yourself and prepare mentally that you're not alone and that you can still make corrections to it and then submit it to other grant or funding agencies and this is something that i want to point out here which uh, brings us to the second point is that always ask for feedback sometimes you get feedback and uh, this is what we got so we got uh, the strengths of our proposal the weakness and also the overall uh, opinion of the grant application reviewers and they said that it was a good proposal but at the same time they told us what were the weaknesses and what were the strengths so now we know that where should we improve on and this is something that you really have to bear in mind is to have a very positive outlook uh, towards it so have a very positive mindset and think about it that you have certain sort of strengths of your proposal so which is good uh, but at the same time look at the weaknesses and see how you can improve about those how you can shed light on the concepts that the reviewers probably didn't understand and and um, this brings me to point number three is that you don't have to write a, every grant from a scratch, especially if you had put in a lot of effort for a, a particular grant and it didn't get uh, acceptance in one or the other funding agency, then try to recycle it. Um, often there are rules that sometimes you cannot apply for one particular grant if you have used that proposal for uh, another grant then in those cases I would really tell uh, ask you to be honest about it but at the same time if you uh, know already that this proposal wasn't accepted for the particular grant application then you can go ahead with application of um, the grant so the grant application for the new funding agency and so this brings me towards the end of the video these were the three lessons that I learned with the recent grant rejections that that we had and I'm looking forward to the next grant and uh, hope we have positive results for that but this is uh, something that my PhD has taught me in general that uh, you will have a lot of failures um, and you will also have a lot of achievements but then you you'll have to see how to bring about the balance between both and you cannot always expect 100% achievements because if there's no failure then there's no ground for learning uh, it's just about the mindset that you have uh, once you have failure and this is something that really helped me so when when I was mentally prepared that it could get either accepted or rejected, um, it was so easy for us to accept it that it just didn't get accepted and uh, that really helps because then you can think how you can um, build upon it and how, what are the other ways through which you can uh, get the funding or through which you can move your project forward so that's the mindset that matters so i hope you guys are positive and uh, i'll see you in another video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and this is the first time you're watching my video so thanks for watching and subscribe to it and if you have any questions regarding grant writing, you don't know what grant writing is. And uh, if you have any questions regarding life science, neuroscience especially, just write them down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them. See you later. Bye for now.